my husband got me, my little sister, and my best friend pregnant all at the same time. What? You heard that right. That's crazy. Okay, so we all find out that we're pregnant. Me, my little sister, and my best friend. We all find out we're <sighs> pregnant like within a week and a half of each other. Our due dates are all in the same week. Same week, okay? My little sister says it's her boyfriend's baby. Great, cool, sounds good. My best friend says it's like her booty calls baby. Okay, no problem girl, no judgment here. Let's just go, right? We do everything, everything's going, we're doing everything together, right? We're going shopping for baby stuff, we're making our baby registries, we're doing the whole thing together, and we are planning a baby shower, right? Right, he was banging three girls at the same time the friend the sister and her what is up guys my name is yambo davidson and welcome to my youtube channel i've traveled the world and one of the most irritating things are flight delays i just hate it when my flight gets delayed. That is why we've partnered up with today's video sponsor, AirHelp. AirHelp helps you claim up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. So sign up today and earn up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. The link is in the description. When I was flying from Namibia to Sweden, my flight was delayed. So I used AirHelp actually and they did wonders. So I actually earned 600 euros and I did not have to pay for that flight, which was amazing. Sign up today. Damn. Damn. That's, this is, this is crazy. That's wild. A baby shower. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, well, let's invite your men. Let's invite the baby daddies. Bring it on, right? And my sister's boyfriend tells her that he wants a DNA test. Because surprise, surprise, he was out of- I can't, guys. I can't. There's no way. There's no way. What life is this woman living? They should make a movie out of this. Out of town. He was out of town when she got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And my best friend's booty call says that he wants a DNA test because uh, she could have been sleeping with anyone, pretty much. So they do a DNA test. Turns out neither of those guys are the father of their, of their babies right so i'm like well who else could it be who are you guys sleeping with like let's just um mm, 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 mm. so we're at the baby shower i still don't know i don't know who who the baby daddies are because they haven't told me she's not gonna leave the man there's something which is happening there where she's just like oh my god i'm procreating with the man like they love it when you cheat it's 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 wild but they just love that shit so the more you cheat, the more women you get, the more of an asshole you are, women are just gonna be coming around because they hear, oh my God, even the sister hears stories and then she's like, oh, I also need to ride the carousel. It's like, it is crazy. There is no loyalty among women, none whatsoever, that you can do that to your sister, your sister. So we're there with our whole family around us. And um, the room is at my mom's house. I walk into the laundry room. Mm -hmm, There's mm -hmm, my mm -hmm, husband mm -hmm. making out with my best friend. Like hand up her dress. Mm. I'm like, what's going on here? Of course, they come out and tell me if, that the baby's his and blah, 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 blah. And I go, okay, what the hell? Um, and then my sister- No, sis this is a dream. She She's gonna end it with like, <laughs> and I was dreaming because there's no way there's no way this is a real story there's there's no way there's no way sure walks in behind me and goes what the hell's going on in here you and I are having a baby together no who who excuse me mm-hmm not proud of it but mm-hmm because what the hell my baby sister 
and my best friend? <sighs> she's gonna stay. 100% she's gonna stay. The dating apps aren't working, so we're gonna freaking do it ourselves. Yep, you've heard that right. The dating apps aren't bloody working. So I'm heading up to London in an attempt to find love. I'm Lydia and I've now been single for eight months. And even though I've been on the dating apps, I can't really find anyone who takes my fancy. The thing is I've not really been a girl that's been putting myself out there for love recently. And by that I basically mean I've become a hermit in love. I haven't been making an effort whatsoever and now it's time to get going. As I am now entering my lover girl era and we are now going to be putting ourselves out there and getting ourselves into different situations in order to meet someone. And I only have one goal for these missions. On my little <coughs> love adventures, I want to either come away with a number or a date. I can't believe I've literally just done that. That was such a failure. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> oh, I'm mortified. So where does our little adventure of love take us first? Well, today I have an appointment in London. So the first place we're going to attempt to go and meet someone is by heading to a cafe. I'm not going to lie, I have quite high hopes for a cafe. Looking up over the top of my iPad. Locking eyes with a beautiful gentleman. Getting it on on the floor right there. Oh, no, sorry. That's a completely different fancy. Getting a number. Most of the good guys are at home or they're in relationships. That's how it works. You're not gonna meet a good person going out, going to the club. That's where you meet just horrible people. I mean, it says something about a person if he has to go out every Friday and, you know, dance and go crazy. It says something about you that you don't really have any goals, any dreams, you, you have no ambition maybe. Maybe you just wanna you know, spend the weekend being drunk. So let's head to a cafe. Now you might be wondering, Lydia, what are you looking for in a partner? Someone who can make me laugh. Because I'm not embarrassed to say that you can, you can laugh <sighs> me into bed. Oh yeah, if you can make me chuckle, my legs are in really? the air. Really? I'm just looking for that golden retriever energy. Some Damn. ocean eyes would be an extra bonus. So we are off through London and we are heading to our first spot. Seeing as my appointment is a little bit further out the than London, the only place that I can find that is cafe life is a Joe and Juice. And the red flags are already flying for this place. I have to pay seven pounds for a juice. Nonetheless, I am determined and as I head downstairs, I'm hoping there might be someone who catches my eye. But the only thing that's catching my eye is the fact that there's no one downstairs apart from me. Yep, this wow. German juice is as empty as my love life. And as I slurp all my juice that feels like a modern day mugging, I'm feeling <laughs> a little bit deflated in this love adventure. I walk along the high street trying to find another cafe. I spot some absolute fitties in a cafe nure. So I head on in. I grab myself a peach iced tea. And I move to a table opposite the guys. I lock eyes with one of the guys and give him a nice little smile. And then I do this. So the first possible interaction, there was some really cute guys in a cafe that I've literally just sat down in and I was like, right, this could be an opportunity and I've spilled <laughs> my pinch toast tea all down me and I look like I've pissed my pants. Why didn't you just approach them? Because it's so easy. It's so easy, baby. You just approach the guys. Say I'm single. You want to go on a date. Just be direct. I can't believe it. I've literally just turned that. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> oh, I'm mortified. Okay, well, there's no chance in hell bouncing back from this one. So he literally just sat there and watched me as I panicked and threw what I threw my stuff. Oh, that's so embarrassing. In front of so many people as well. <laughs> this is not my day. as I head back upstairs, the guys are gone and they tell mm. me to get out because they're closing the cafe. And with that, I hold my head down in shame because I only had one mission for today. That was to strut my stuff through London and get a number. And it ended up being a flowers of failure. So that is my first love adventure done. That's crazy. She did literally nothing. Okay, so I've been talking to a guy for literally a few months now. He went to Europe. Like, okay, we started talking, we had a great few dates, and then he left to go to Europe, and he was gone for three weeks, and we texted the entire time he was gone. He bought me, brought me gifts back from Europe. Oh, that guy's cute. Mm -hmm. Brought me gifts back from Europe, okay? We've gone out, like, three times since he's been back from Europe. Last Thursday, I went to his house, he cooked me an entire chicken dinner. Like, so great, so sweet. We ate it, like, at his house overlooking the city, and we went swimming in his pool, and we played video games that he had downloaded for me, and he seemed super into me. He made this beautiful fire, and we cuddled in front of the fire. Whatever. Okay? Then, he's like, can I see you Sunday? Now remember you know what I've noticed? Men are YouTube, and women are TikTok. 
this is Thursday. And I was like, yeah, yeah, let's see each other Sunday. And he's like, okay, I'll text you about it tomorrow. And then he texts me the next day, but he's not saying like that we're going to do something. So I like hearted one of his messages because it wasn't really a question. I didn't know how to respond. Then Sunday comes around and I'm like, hey, we should go ice skating. I've really been wanting to go ice skating lately. Do you want to come? He was like, oh, I wish my car got impounded. So I'm going to work on getting my car. I'm like, okay, I completely understand. Right? I'm like, I feel so bad. I feel terrible. He didn't respond to that. That's Sunday. It's now Thursday and we haven't talked at all. And we didn't go like a day without texting. And sorry, I'm parallel parking right now while I'm making a TikTok. So many talents. Anyway, we didn't go like a few days without without talking. So am I getting ghosted? <laughs> am I getting ghosted? That's the crazy part about it. She doesn't even care if she's getting ghosted. It's just like a funny little thing. Oh my God, I'm getting ghosted. Ah, like fairies faring around but i do have to say that i think he is with another girl never in my life did i think i would catch a cheater through a viral tiktok product but here we are so i'll tell you what happened i went to coffee with my friend recently we're chit-chatting sipping on our iced oat lattes bad for the teeth good for the soul we're talking about life liberty the pursuit of peace will we ever find it will we ever know it probably not okay. the way that our brains work but nevertheless we carry on she says you know i saw something recently that i can't get out of my head i said tell me sister she says well it was an email in my husband's inbox, but I wasn't snooping. I said, look at me. I couldn't care less if you were. She goes, okay. It was an email from a company called Dairy Ring. And I said, I've seen this company on TikTok. It's a weird business model. Okay. It's a jewelry company that only allows you to buy for one person in okay. particular. It connects you with your one true love. All right. So if you double back and you want to buy for someone different in the future, mm -mm, no double dips, not on their website. Okay. I said, okay. So what's the problem? She goes, well, look at me. Does it look like I'm wearing a piece of Dairy Ring jewelry? Mm. I scan. Neck, chest, wrist, <laughs> ears, toes, even bare. I said, no, it does not. She said, no, it does not. Um. I said, oh, okay, I see where this is going. She goes, but the plot thickens. I said, oh, I love it when the plot does that. She goes, well, I, I went to dinner with my husband and some of his coworkers, and there was a woman there named Sandra, who I always thought was a little too familiar with him. And I said, oh, Sandra. She goes, yeah, Sandra. And I looked down at Sandra's hand during the dinner, and there was a beautiful ring on her finger. And I said, oh, Sandra, what a beautiful ring. Wherever did you get it? And Sandra says, oh, it's from a company called Dairy Ring. <laughs> huh. So. Justice. So dramatic. If you're in the Dallas area and you see a grown man, Caucasian, walking the side of the road, bald spot shining on the top of his head, looks like he just got kicked out of his house, don't pick him up. <laughs> Do not pick him up. He's got somewhere to go. Sandra's house. Damn. That's crazy. A lot of women nowadays can be detectives. They can because details, the devil is in the details and they're so good at details. But anyway, guys, that is all for me today. Like, comment and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.